In this video, we are going to discuss a question from the topic tangent to a circle. So first of all, let's try to understand the problem. Here question is, in the given figure, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. You see, here ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. All the four vertices A, B, C and D are lying on a given circle. The tangent to the circle at B meets DC produced at F. Okay, The tangent to the circle at B, here point B is here and this is the tangent to the circle which meets DC produced at the point F. If angle EAB is 85 degree, this angle EAB is given here which is 85 degree and angle BFC is 50 degree. This angle BFC is 50 degree. So we have to find out angle CAB. This angle CAB. We have to find out this angle. Okay. So now let us see the solution of this problem. First of all, you try to understand that in a cyclic quadrilateral, suppose this is cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D and if any side has been produced, suppose D, A has been produced, then this external angle so formed is equal to opposite internal angle B, C, D. So we are using this property in this case also and here angle BCD will be equal to angle EAB because angle EAB or BAE is, a, is an external angle when side DA has been produced. So this angle EAB will be equal to opposite integer angle BCD. Okay, so let us write this one here. So here angle EAB, this is equal to angle BCD, opposite internal angle, angle BCD and this will be equal to 85 degree. Okay, now let us find out this angle. You know, some of these two angles will be 180 degree because these are linear angles. So, let us take triangle BCF in triangle BCF. Angle BCF is equal to 180 degree minus angle BCD angle BCD because these two angles are pair of linear angles sum of these two angles is 180 degree and angle BCD is how much 85 degree so this is equal to 180 degree minus 85 degree therefore we are getting here angle BCF is equal to 180 minus 85 is equal to 95 degree. Okay. So this angle BCF is 95 degree. Now we can calculate this angle in triangle BCF very easily because sum of these three angles will be 180 degree. And now we can write angle CBF is equal to 180 degree minus this angle F minus angle BCF angle BCF and this is 180 degree minus angle F is 50 degree minus angle BCF is 95 degree and this is 180 degree minus sum of these two angles is 145 degree. Okay. So this is equal to angle 
सी बी एफ इज हंड्रेड एटी माइनस वन फोर्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड हेयर एंगल सी बी एफ इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट एंगल सी ए बी और यू कैन से बी ए सी वेरी इजली इन प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सो मेनी टाइम्स that this angle will be equal to angle in the alternate segment this angle is being formed with the help of this tangent and the chord bc so this angle is equal to angle in the alternate segment i mean major segment here because this angle is formed in minor segment bc is a minor segment here minor arc is here so this angle will be opposite equal to the angle formed in the major segment means angle bac so now we can write angle bac will be equal to angle cb angle cbf what is the reason angles in alternate segment so by this property alternate segment so by this property we can write angle b a c is equal to angle c b f and we have already calculated angle c b f 35 degree so therefore angle b a c is 35 degree so this is the answer so you have to be very careful that we have to use some properties which we have already studied in the topic of cyclic quadrilateral or tangent to a circle so that's all about the solution of this question and in the next video we'll do some more problems